Hi, yesterday I was doing some research about the most valuable videos in YouTube and I found something interesting. The most valuable videos in YouTube is the videos which are talking about working remote and that took me to some thoughts about how really to make money online and I would like to share my experience because majority of the things which I saw online, they don't really talk the truth. They don't say how to get started. Majority of them, not all, but majority. And the simple rule here to use is to fake the algorithms. If you would really want to make money online, it's not by going the straightforward way, following the process. That's not going to take you anywhere. Or it will take you maybe somewhere but uh, after long period of time you will not get rich quick if you want to get rich quick you have to fix the algorithms you have to fix the system and it's not only on that age of technology and ai but it have been there for long uh, i think they call it creativity but uh, the right word is faking the system breaking the system following the rules will sustain for you maybe an income or will make for you living but it will not bolster your life or take it to the next level if you would like to take your life to the next level you have to break the system not following the rules and on on remote work personally like my personal experience even is by faking it faking the algorithms go around the algorithms not to follow the algorithms i will give example of an app which i i watched a podcast for the app creator and that's what catch me and or this uh, related to that context when they ask him on the podcast how did you get started he said that we were creating fake data so that the user when they use the app they feel or they think that there is many other users are using the app which is not true it was just a fake data and we go on on that approach until real users start to replace the fake data so we no longer need fake data now we have real users are using the app and the reason why they do that is because if i go through maybe apple or google play or apple store First of all, I will not see the app if there is no traffic on the app. And even if the traffic is fake, the algorithms will work on my favor. And also, like psychologically for the user, if now I see an application which have 1 million downloads, it is totally different than I see applications which have one or two downloads. I will not even get the courage to download that app or install it. Same for YouTube, if you saw a channel which have only one user, uh, sorry, one view for a video, two view for another video, it will not even give you the courage, okay, I, I think that it's not valuable video. But if you saw that there is 1,000, 2,000, 1 million, 2 million viewers for a video, you will be interested, okay, what are those people watching? What is the valuable information or so ever on that video which make people see it? So if you go on the, or you follow the rules that, okay, I need to make a high quality video and so on, and all those nice rules, it will sustain for you, uh, but in, in the long run. So you will need a lot of time so that you can reach to maybe 1 million view. But if you try to see how the algorithms work and try to, follow the rules but for the algorithms try to fake the algorithms feed them with what they want then you will really shorten that time and you will really make a lot more or achieve a lot more by faking and go around the algorithms and break the system uh, and it's not something bad actually uh, if you don't do that you will not compete it's not something bad and there is another rule besides that you have to consider is you have at least to have an average scale so for example uh, us as software engineers if you don't have an average scale and even if you try to break the system you will not make it 
you will not make it you have at least to have an average scale and then you start to use a system or uh, to to you to break the rules so that it booster you it booster your uh, or shorten the time to reach uh, to reach to whatever goals you want and i can give example of uh, a very famous uh, like youtuber who have or he publish uh, YouTube courses about software engineering and uh, I was following him for some time and if you go back on time and see how he started you will know that okay this guy at some point okay he, he did not have the scale at some point and then he was like showing or marketing that he's a professional he know this and that and the very famous trick that okay i was ex google ex facebook and so on and then they are really not ex google not they have nothing to do with facebook or google or i was in stanford and then i dropped the school uh, all those marketing things and then you see okay he don't even have any like any scale any software engineering experience or scale but he market himself like i am a good guy and i have been on google i have been on facebook then you 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 know forward a bit on the history and you see that the quality for his work it doesn't really have any value it really he don't have the experience he don't have anything to share except just he's good on acting he's good in presenting uh, but he don't really have a deep experience to uh, give his own opinion and simplify things and make and and even present things which make a lot of sense because not everything on you read in books are really make sense on real life not everything you learn in school really makes sense on real life there is there is a trick that there are even many books the people who wrote the books or whatever who published the books they don't really have enough experience on the topic but they ask they make a research and so on and then they come up with a conclusion which is not like it's not the um, it, it's not real I mean, it's that's not what's going on in deal, but this is his understanding. I can give example with, there is many actual, but design patterns, for example. Design patterns, they tell, okay, it's a maintainable code, and good code and so on. I, okay, but they are trade-off. You, If you build a whole software based on a design patterns, it will be too rigid. One of the very famous, uh, design concept is write it every time wait and dry don't repeat yourself majority are focusing on don't repeat yourself and this is the best approach this is what you should do the, the reality is that's not true it's it's not the best approach it's a trade-off because too much of dry software will make it so rigid and on the other side wait write it every time people don't talk much about write it every time and it's really it's it's really what you need on the on on the edge of uh serverless softwares microservices you need your software to be more of a weight write it every time and it it makes software much way far more flexible and uh, you can do a lot of changes yes you have you do a lot of effort but on the other side the software is way far flexible and like uh, you see that everybody's marketing dry 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 okay but like uh, this is not the case in real in real software you should consider both and see what will fit your need that is what experience when we write software i have used that abroad this abroad i saw software which is written using that concept this concept and i saw the mechanism and how it worked and out of experience i can even make a judgment and i can share with you my experience i can say why should we use this or that or what is the best on each case separately i mean in real cases like should we go that approach or this approach so yeah okay back to our topic sorry i get off topic but it's important to mention that uh, you have to have an average scale average experience on what you are talking about on what you are what you are claiming there is something another example came on my mind 
uh, that about Bill Gates. Bill Gates, there is um, a podcast I, I have, I have uh, uh, watched. They were talking about Bill Gates and how he started. And they were saying that any project, uh, they have like, he's working on project and then a customer come and he said, okay, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Even if he don't do it, or he know it, he say, yes, I will do it. And then he spent a lot of, of time and effort and dedication to get the work done. So if you don't have real scale, you, you have to know that you need that to do the effort. You have to do the effort so that you have sustained growth. Otherwise, you will keep faking it and, and by time you lose the credibility. You, you know, you have to do the effort. If you don't have an average scale, you, know, you have to put in mind, I must work hard to get to a point, at least I have an average scale. Plus faking the algorithms <laughs> or breaking the rules. Okay, maybe faking is not a best, a best word, but let's say breaking the rules, feeding the algorithms with the data they need so that you can shorten that time, okay? I, I think no, very real who talk about that, but that is the truth. That is the reality. This is, this is how many have been breaking through that barrier of cold start. They, they, they really break the, the algorithms, they really fit the algorithms with the data they need. They don't go and take the long way. There is people who talk, it take the long way, but that have a very high cost. And if you are not able to, uh, you know, to pay for that, you have to go the other way around. And all, again, everything have its own cost you have to see what is uh, your good bad and your strengths and weakness because also breaking or feeding the algorithms what they need uh, again you have to uh, you know you have to either pay for that on a way or another okay it's not also for free uh, but it will shorten the time i mean you pay for for faking the algorithms pay feeding the data okay and shorten the time or you take the long way and don't pay anything the, the zero cost okay except your effort maybe so yeah different approaches it's your choice but that's how to shorten the time i will say i hope this the, i hope this is useful we'll see you next time